Yeah, uh, the Central Division is definitely a tough, tough division. I think a lot of people know that. Um, come playoff time, it's always a tight race. Uh, I think with two weeks left, three weeks left, whatever it was, we had three open playoff spots, and there were five teams in the running. So uh, it's really just prepared us for every weekend, just because every weekend it's it's not a game off. Like you don't play any bad teams; they're all good teams, they're all structured teams. So uh, yeah, I think that's how it's helped prepare us. You guys got a couple of veterans on your club that have, you know, led this team throughout the season, a couple of new guys added in. What's been uh, the key to get all that cohesiveness with your unit? Yeah, uh, I think trust is a big thing with all of us. Uh, we all believe in each other and we all trust each other are going to make the right play. So that's one big thing. And then uh, obviously just communicating on the ice, that's key. Our coaches preach that. And so that's how we just kind of play as a whole unit with new guys and old guys, whatever it may be. Uh, just talking out there is huge. Throughout this playoff run, your guys' power play has been elite, to say the least. Um, what do you think has been the key to that success here in the postseason? I I don't really know. I mean, we had some struggle in the in the regular season, and then we just kind of flipped the switch, and it's almost like our our guys are stepping up now. We're getting those bounces. We're earning those bounces. We're being more offensive. Like we're not playing so far back, worrying about getting scored on on the power play. It's more aggressive now. So I think that's helped out a lot. Um, and then Hampus Shoulder has done an awesome job with the breakouts and knowing what teams are going to run what. So. I think just preparing for the penalty kill that the team we're going to play against and, yeah, just being more aggressive. You know, when you look up and down your lineup, you know, really any guy on your team could hurt you. You know, you, could, you have probably a solid, as solid a four lines as anyone here. Um, talk about that depth that you guys have and how you can really trust anyone to come up in a big moment. Yeah, like if you look at our fourth line, we have the Broussard twins and we have uh, Jackson Luther in between them. And, I mean, that's not even a fourth line. We don't really have a fourth line. All four lines play a lot. Um, you'll see Gavin Morrissey play a lot. And so it, we have our guys who take D zone draws. We have our guys who take O zone draws. We have the offensive power, but we also have guys who are willing to shut down teams' first lines. So it's been really nice to have a lot of depth this year, and it's helped us get this far so or get this he, get here so far. Uh, you guys are one of two Minnesota teams here at the event. Are you excited for the big possible uh, fan turn you guys can have here? <laughs> yeah, it'd be awesome. Uh, I'm sure all the Bruins fans are going to come up here. They basically made St. Cloud's home rink our home rink last week. Uh, that was awesome. They took a fan bus up there, and it was crazy loud. So I can't even imagine what they're going to do here when it's only an hour and 30 minutes away. So, yeah, it'd be cool to see uh, the Wilderness in the final and to make it a, a, a Minnesota rivalry. But got to get there first. Uh, you got to play a team you don't see often. What do you know about them? What uh you think will be the best uh, way to take them down over the next two to three days and uh, how you see yourselves guys getting to Tuesday night? Yeah, uh, Maryland looks like a good team. Uh, they have a lot of speed. They're big. Um, we haven't really played any of those teams yet so far uh, in regular season in the Central Division, so it's going to be something new for us. And so our coaches are doing a lot to help us prepare for this week. Um, and, yeah, I think they're just going to be a good team. We just got to play our structure, go out there and – dump pucks, play simple, and just chip pucks out of our zone, do whatever we can, block shots, just the usual stuff. What would it mean for you and your club to bring home that first Robertson Cup to Austin? It'd mean a lot. I mean, uh, we have Robertson Cups all over our, our locker room and our video room, our office, like whatever it is, we have Robertson Cups everywhere, and that's all we've been thinking about, whether it's in the weight room, it's it's in the locker room, it's on the ice. That's It's been in our mind since last year when we lost in Aberdeen as far as veterans I know we've been talking about a lot this summer like we've we've been planning for this and so it's it's cool to see that we we already got here but I mean we we don't want to just be okay with just making making it here we want to win the whole thing so it's been awesome and I mean if we could bring it home for our fans they've been so supportive and it's, it's such a cool fan base it'd be everything to bring it back to them